spring has arrived. It's still really chilly, but we have flowers blooming all over our yard. This is my favorite time of the year, um, aside from like Christmas. And um, I'm definitely itching to get my house like spring cleaned and ready for the new season. Um, so today I am going to go um, antiquing for some spring decor and um, thought I'd take you along with me. So let's get in the car and go. I've ended up in Knoxville, Tennessee. Um, I had an appointment here today, so <clears throat> I thought um, since I was already coming down here anyway, um, that I would stop at one of my favorite antique stores in the Bearden area. It's on um, Vintage Treasures, and right next door is Four Seasons Antiques. And um, I've shown this store before a few months ago, I think, um, in one of my videos. So. Uh, this is a place that I've been coming to for a number of years and um, ever since I discovered it years ago and um, it's been one of my favorite places to come when I'm in Knoxville. So um, these two little shops are great. That we'd go see what they've got today. I can usually find some pretty good deals here. Um, sometimes I'll walk out without anything but you just never know when you go antiquing what you're going to find and um, that's kind of part of the fun. I'm hoping to find spring decor. I haven't been very um, lucky finding things that I want lately um, as far as like spring decor goes. So I'm kind of not holding my breath, but <laughs> we'll see. Maybe I'll, maybe I'll get lucky today. And um, I'm also looking for things to decorate my family room for the warmer months. So anyway, that's kind of what I'm here for. And um, let's go check it out. Yeah. 
definitely had th things to do this afternoon so I set my alarm and slept for about an hour and um, it was raining today and I had to be out this morning um, and do some things for different family members and um, it was pouring down rain and when I got home from running all of those errands and and doing all of that um, I just felt like snuggling up under a blanket and then Marlo came over and laid down on my, laid down next to me with her head right here. And I thought, man, it's, it's hard to get up when she lays on me like that. So we ended up taking a nap together and um, that was okay. So anyway, um, I hope you're having a good week. Did you see the eclipse yesterday? It was cloudy here and um, I, I regret not making the drive somewhere to see the eclipse. Um, I feel like we had 90% totality here in Eastern Kentucky and um, you know it got a little bit dark outside. In 2017 um, we drove down to see the eclipse um, and that was amazing. It was a great experience. Probably if I hadn't done it in 2017 I would have done it. Made more of an effort yesterday. I did watch it live on YouTube and then I was kind of sad that I didn't see it in person but Anyway, um, if you got to see it, you have to let me know how it was. I thought it was just, I mean, even just seeing it on TV, it was just so awe-inspiring to me. So, okay, so I'm back home in Kentucky, and um, I'm probably here for the next 10 days or so. Um, I think I'm going to be taking a trip to Florida, maybe, possibly coming up. Um, not sure about that yet, but 
Anyhow, um, a couple of weeks ago, actually, it's been a little while ago. Um, I'm kind of backed up on videos. I, I've made a bunch of videos, but haven't had time to get them, haven't had time to edit and get them published on YouTube. So I'm a little behind, but a couple of weeks ago I went, um, I was down in Knoxville and went to one of my favorite antique shops. Um, I've, I've done a video there before. Um, it's a place I've been shopping at for several years and, um, and I, it's just one of my favorite places to go. Although, and it's actually, it's actually two shops side by side. So I just kind of always go to both shops, it's, you know, on the same afternoon, whenever I go. Um, so it's Vintage Treasures and Four Season Antiques, I think, in Knoxville. It's in the Bearden area. And um, I've been shopping there for years. So um, the Vintage Treasures has actually changed their name this last time when I was there. They changed it to Vintage Treasures and Books. And I mean, in all honesty, I was kind of bummed when I went in and saw that they had moved, a lot of their inventory had changed to um, like vintage and, and used books, which I mean, I love books. So it's not that. It's just that typically when I would go there, that's not why I went. I went to find, you know, vintage home decor. And um, so that was a little disappointing to me. I still love the shop. I did get, um, and the other, the shop next to it, the Four Seasons, um, you know, is just as lovely as always. Anyway, I wanted to show you what I got and then I'm going to show you how I style them. And, um, and I hope you enjoy this video. So the first thing I got from the Vintage Treasures and Bookstore, um, I only got one thing from there, and it was another basket. It's kind of a large size, not, not too big, but it is larger. And um, it's got the handle, it's in good condition. This was like, nine dollars and 99 cents and um it has like there's like some hot glue right here so i need to work on getting that off um i think maybe somebody like pulled maybe there's glued flowers or ribbon or something on it that they removed um but i don't know but it has a little bit of hot glue there that I don't that I don't want. Or maybe I'll just, if I can't get it off, I may just tie a pretty ribbon on the basket. So I haven't decided yet. But anyway, you can always use more baskets. Um, they're just, you know, one of my favorite things to pick up when I am antiquing or thrifting. And um, and I like, you know, I'm always kind of looking for baskets that are, you know, in different shapes. And um, I liked the, the shape and size of that one. Okay, and then when I went next door to the Four Seasons, um, honestly, I could have bought a lot more. There was a number of things. I was trying to stay within a budget, so I only got a couple of things, but, um, but I am really happy with the two things that I bought. So the first thing I got was this um, vintage thermos, and I'm wanting to, you know, this is my third third vintage thermos, I believe. Um, and I'm wanting to expand that collection for our family room. And I really liked this one. It's got the green, it's kind of like a, um, a two-toned green. It says thermos here. And um, it does have like a, a little bit of a dent right here, but it's not bad. And it was in good condi condition. Um, has the the lid on top and I'm not planning to use this for food it's plastic not glass on the inside um, but like I said these are gonna be mainly for just these are gonna be like decor so um, I really liked that and then I found this in the same booth I found this sweet little wooden um, painted little girl and the colors were similar. And I thought that, you know, I'm trying to update my family room for um, 
spring and summer. And at the time I was actively looking for, I'm still looking for things for the family room, but I just thought she was so cute. She's eating a little cookie and she's holding a cookie jar. Um, her feet are a little, you know, stick out. And um, she appears to be hand painted. There is a letter R painted on the back. I wish the whole name was there. But um, y'all know I love to collect hand painted wooden decor pieces. Um, it's very nostalgic for me. And I thought she was just the cutest thing. So I'm excited to share with you guys how I style these um, pieces in my family room. And um, I'm gonna do that real quick. So let's go down, let's go downstairs and see. Okay, we're down in my family room. And um, you know, I had, if you've watched my previous videos, I have this, um, don't look at my laundry room, it's not done. Um, I have this like hot chocolate bar that I had put together for Christmas. And, you know, it's not Christmas anymore, but I still wanted to have like a little um, drink station down here. And um, I may end up changing this. I didn't have like a lot of, um, I just didn't have like a lot of warm weather kind of decor that I could use in this space. I have collected a few things, um, but I didn't have a lot. I basically shopped my attic and uh, my you know my own home decor stash and pulled a few things that I felt like would work for spring because we actually spent a good bit of time um, down here for Easter this year and um, I wanted to have you know the space to be um, not Christmas anymore so I just worked with what I had and um, the thermos and the little girl even the cookie are going here on this bar. So, I mean, over here you can see I still have my wallpaper samples um, for our laundry room. I need to get those, I need to get the one we picked ordered. And um, anyway, so we'll just ignore that. But, so here's my hot chocolate bar. Let me turn it around so you can see better. Okay, and if you watched my video at Christmas time, you know that, um, you know, I kind of made this like, faux wall here because I was trying to block some of the laundry room from just you know I hate that because we have such a nice we have such a nice family room and um, I mean the laundry room I mean it's getting worked on and it's eventually gonna look nice but you know I mean I don't really want to look at the laundry so especially when I'm serving food and so I kind of created this faux wall here and um, there was this green shelf down in Clinton, Tennessee um, a few weeks ago. I posted a video about it and said that I might go back for the green shelf. I have not gotten back down there to see if they still have the shelf. I had thought this shelf would go well, really, really well here. Um, and I kind of regretted not buying it. But this is okay for now. Uh, I may eventually, you know, go back and see if they still have it. I don't know. But um, I have, I put the thermos here and um, a little frog. And then I also put the little girl over here. So these strawberries, I didn't, um, these strawberries I, I failed to mention in one of my last videos. I got these at I got these at the Mercantile at the Ridge in Chattanooga. And um, at least I think that's where they came from. Anyway, but I, I don't think they went into that video. So I got those strawberries along with these strawberries. It was like a, a bag full of them. And um, I just thought they were really cute for spring, summer. Okay, so that's, that's kind of where we're at. This is kind of like I need to I need to do I need to work on this, but this is what I've got right now. So um, I think I should get some different straws. We've used a bunch of these already, but uh, we didn't use all of them for Christmas, so I just haven't bought any new ones. And um, 
you know, maybe do something other than hot chocolate here, but, or even maybe like a white, white hot chocolate. Um, the thing about this family room is that we're kind of below, like halfway below ground, um, or not even halfway, but, but you can see that, you know, the ground is just below the windows. And so the lower part of the wall is below ground. So this room stays pretty chilly in the summertime, which is nice, um, but you can definitely enjoy a hot drink down here all year round and it'll feel cozy. So I like having the hot chocolate bar. This is something new. I didn't have that when my kids were growing up, um, but I, um, everybody enjoyed it this year and um, I want to continue to enjoy it. So I'm gonna show you the basket now. Okay, so for the basket, I'm kind of thinking, I may hate this, but I'm thinking about hanging it and maybe doing baskets across there. At least for the time being, I'm gonna try it. I'm gonna see if I like it and um, let's do that. Okay, so I'm not loving it. I think before I do that, I need to go ahead and get a bunch of baskets and gather them up. So, oh well. It's, um, I think it's something that I will work, work on and I'll let you know, I'll keep you updated on how it's going. So anyway, I guess that's all for today's video. I hope you guys have a fabulous week and I will see you next time. Please be sure to hit that like button, subscribe if you haven't already, and leave a comment. I love talking to y'all. So take care. I'll see you next time. Bye.